As the economic and political integration of East African countries take shape, the chairperson of the East African Council of Ministers, Ezekiel Nivijira, says some members think that the existing laws in individual ESC nations are under threat by the East African Community Treaty, a legal document signed by member states to guide the integration process. Some say that there is a tendency for national cards to lose their powers as the EACJ seems to be the ultimate and the final step of jurisdiction. Ambassador Nivijira, who was speaking at the opening of the second annual ESCJ conference in Kampala, called for a discussion to strengthen the East African Court of Justice or the regional court's relevance would remain in question. This subject matter needs to be revisited at each level of leadership of the community for us to ensure that the EACJ is really contributing to enhancing the integration agenda and the respect of individual partner states' sovereignty and independence. Lack of political will and supremacy of sovereign states have been previously seen to affect inter-country trade. The court is also concerned that some partner states do not respect the provisions of the treaty which remove trade barriers. First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for East African Affairs, Rebecca Kadaga, said as much. We are supposed to establish uh, the Trade Regimes Committee within the co community which will address uh, breaches of the, of the treaty. It has not been set, set up but uh, at the next council in uh, November it's one of the things we are going to discuss and establish. It's long overdue. Justices of the 21-year-old East African Court and other stakeholders are meeting in Kampala for a three-day conference under the theme Transforming Access to Justice in the East African Community. In November 2022, the court will hold sessions in Kampala, which are rotational among member states, to enhance the visibility of the court. Edward Mahumza, NTV.